how permanent do you think these changes are, are going to be? How much of that, those changes that you have made, even if we do go back to a more in-person work, I'm not sure if, what your situation is with the break, whether you do plan to do that, but do you think the changes will be permanent or temporary? Um, I think a lot of them will be permanent. Um, I think that that's something I've felt since the beginning of the, the pandemic. And, and I think that Brex is in the same situation as a lot of companies, which is that you know, Brex doesn't want to endanger its employees. The outbreak in the United States is quite bad. Um, you know, we're not going to return to a normal office environment for quite a long time. At least that's my opinion. Um, and so like, as a result, and even if we did return, this is something I, I, I've talked with a lot of people about. Even if some people did return to an office, essentially, they are going to be working remotely, right? Because if a big portion of the staff is working remotely, then any, everyone is working remotely, no matter where you are, right? And so what I've felt is that companies can use this to their advantage. I think Brex is thinking about these things as well, as, and, and many others, of course, is like, if we're going to have a remote workforce, how can that be, you know, number one, maybe cheaper, but number two, as effective or more effective than being in an office, 